Fine. So I mean myself a new do-it-yourself Z Pro. It's actually extremely cheap if you wanna do it. I kind of did it because I managed to accidentally burn my last one, the inductive one. Uh, how I did this? It's because I I made my new motherboard with this connector here, and uh, this was the wire I was using. Problem is it was late and uh, I connected it uh, in the right way just like this but uh, I changed a lot of things in the configuration files and uh, it was the, the input pin was inverted so when it was on it was actually off so I thought I just put the connector the other way around I checked a bit it was late when I did this and I was a bit tired so I, I, I checked I saw the blue one it's ground and if you see here, uh, actually this blue, I, I'm using this connector with these wires that I just cut it from somewhere and I soldered it to this. And if you see the blue one, the ground it actually goes to the black one here, which is the the ground, sure. And the blue one was the power one. And I, I just inverted them because I, <laughs> I was confused. And it, it burned. It was not standing on the LED. Uh, I, I just realized it burned. I, I tried to open it so I, maybe I could fix it. But uh, the problem is this is just a hollow tube. It's filled with epoxy. It has the CPC here on a very small piece of board. It's SMDs and it's filled with epoxy. And uh, an inductor, the same glued in, in this top blue one. So I just broke it in two very destructively because it was not, there was no way to open it. And it was smelling so bad as burned uh, silicone, I just throw it away. Anyway, that's the story with uh, this one. Luckily, as you can see, I, I was thinking of playing with uh, one of these clicky buttons for Z Pro. And uh, I built this into my motherboard besides this one. So I just use this one now. Okay, so this is... Uh, what I'm using is very simple. It has a LED. This button is from a mouse actually. It's this exactly the same as the okay the schematic for what I'm, for what I'm using. It's actually the schematic for the end stops. You can normally find the red ones with a button. So it has of course the button, uh, two resistors, a LED, and a 100. Uh, nanofarad capacitor. I add it exactly according to, to this schematic. Uh, this one is the 1K resistor for the LED. The other one it's, it's on the other on this side of the button. You cannot see it. And this capacitor, I just recovered these pieces from and the button from an old mouse. You can find these buttons. This one I found it exactly in the button, and these two I had already. These are new ones. I I had. A few resistors what this is a bit of uh, pcb from my old project and a small connector here and this is it let me show you now a video of how this works okay so this is the my sensor mounted as you can see it's just a pcb and it's connected with this uh, zipper there Uh, I inverted this because I do not have the clearing for it now and I don't know how to lower it or something. So I'm just uh, doing uh, homing and checking everything it's level and then I can... I'm gonna invert this and try to print something to find the solution. Uh, it gets connected here like I showed you earlier because I'm not using this one here. Uh, let me let me show you so as you can see I have everything connected now on the motherboard and I oh, let's turn off the line okay let's do a full Z a full calibration there and you see that's how that works 
I'm gonna lower it a bit. Let's give it like three millimeters. And I'm gonna use the Z tilt so you can see it a bit more in action. Let me show what it does. Okay, so it did in just two passes because it was already pretty pretty balanced because I've been adjusting it from before. Okay, so this is how how it is for now. I think it's it's functional functionally it's very good. But uh, I need to find a solution on the, how to keep the uh, print head and do this but i don't know for now anyway this is all i have for now hope you like it like and subscribe if you want to see more